Okay, just a quick update uh, regarding some shack activities over the last couple of days. And uh, it's all down to this Griffin power knob uh, that I've had in my junk box since playing around with my homebrew SDR 1000. Oh, that must have been about 17, 18 years ago now. So this has been kicking around in my junk box for uh, all that time. And uh, I've now decided to try and bring it back into uh, use. At the end of the day, this control knob is just an encoder with a button. It's very, very nicely made. But the problem when interfacing it with a, with a microcontroller, it's USB interface. However, cunning plan, the uh, Teensy 4.1 has a USB host interface uh, already on the board. And uh, by plugging a standard USB cable into it, and then plugging the Griffin control knob into there, if I get it right, <laughs> with a bit of software I should be able to get the encoder incrementing something and registering the, uh, the push button. Uh, so that's the, uh, that's the challenge I've been uh, battling with over the last couple of days. Now, this is the first time I've played around with USB um, and it looks to be mighty complicated. Had a quick look at the standards and uh, to be perfectly frank, although I can understand bits of this, I wouldn't have a clue where to start interfacing it with software. Um, but I managed to find a library for the Teensy and I've manipulated that library and I've cobbled together something that works. Code's probably very ugly but, but it does work and uh, this is what it looks like uh, when it's up and running. So with the Teensy mounted uh, in, in my breadboard environment, plugged in, and it all hooked up to just the display I'm running at the moment. Um, we can play around with the software, and this is what it uh, looks like when it's uh, when it's operational. Okay, so we're now uh, running with the uh, the software. So initial software download. Uh, you can see that the uh, the device isn't connected and if we now connect up the Griffin knob it detects it and it jumps into a very basic uh, screen where if I could I can turn the knob and it increases and decreases and if I push the button it senses the button's been pressed and it senses that it's been released. So with that code now working on the Teensy I should in future radio builds integrate the Griffin power knob with a VFO control on the desk. Um, yeah, look forward to that. Could be fun. I'll uh, I'll post a I'll post the code on uh, on GitHub and I'll pop pop a link below in case you're interested. It's uh, it's been an interesting few days, but I'm glad <laughs> glad I've got something working. As I said before, the code's probably, well, I know it's not very elegant, but it does work. 
Uh, so there we go. Happy home brewing. 73.